with this uh, 266 that I got from Evan. My plan is to pull the jug on it. Uh, just to see, I know there's some scoring on the piston. I wanna see if the jug's salvageable. If the jug's salv uh, salvageable, then I'm going to... Oh, it's, it's different. If the jug's salvageable, then it's fine. I'm gonna just get a, he recommended to get a 268, uh, 268 piston. They're lighter, he said they're... It's, just if I got replaced, he said it's just better. So I'll take his word for it because he knows what he's doing. I do not. I will admit that. Uh, let's just take this software off too. Try not to lose any bits and pieces. And before this gets back together, I might see if I can do anything with the muffler. Because I do want this sort of, not necessarily scream, but I want it to be a good, powerful saw. Uh, you watch it on YouTube, and it seems people really, really like these 266s. Uh, so. I'm hoping the jug's fine, because I'd like to actually, I mean, leave it. 62 cc's or 66 cc's or whatever it is. Oh, can't talk today. It's been a long day. I started work. It was up at four. I had to do a bunch of field work at Earl's and Joey's and crap like that. So after this, I'm gonna go upstairs. Probably have a beer, maybe two, maybe three, and eh, probably just two. It is a Monday night, and then just chill for a bit. So I need a. It's probably right there, right there. Came off pretty easy. It's good. I'm probably gonna have to dig out the heads on all these because they're looking a little full of crap. That's pretty normal, I guess. And with the cylinder off too, I can get also give a good cleaning because it's not the cleanest looking thing around here. But. Am I gonna have to take that top handle off? I might. It's unfortunate. Yeah, this, this handle has to go. I mean, there is a way to get it off without, but yeah, why fuck around? Just be swearing and yelling. These are relatively, like, they seem pretty easy to work on, like. I'm not sure I feel about the plastic gears on the oil pumps on these, though. That seems like a, a seriously weak point, but, but thankfully they're cheap and easy to come by. I'm glad I noticed I'm missing the chill rod, too, because that's a part I'm going to have to get. There's such a better anti vibe system on here than like some other saws. Like, you got the little Poolin Pro 255. It's kind of the same as that John's road I've been working on for Robert. And it's just a really weird, squishy feeling. Those home like uh, 240s and 245s are like that too. Just It's just a real sloppy anti vibe system. It just makes it feel odd when you're operating the saw. It's like it's floating, I guess that's what they went for. Because they used to come what they used to call. Some other anti vibe saws floating power, if I recall correctly. Got a sick dog right now. We think figured she got a rib bone. Now she's paying for it outside. She went past it. Hopefully, she's all right. Okay. 
Uh, sorry for this video being long. I'm just kind of listening to what's going on with the dog upstairs. Hoping they don't have to take a trip to the vet, because the emergency vet's usually fucking expensive. Do we have to? We have to. Okay, grab a semi clean cloth. Random spark rester stuff to it. Okay. Let's take a look at this jug. In theory. Am I missing something? No. Hang on, why is this not just popping out? Am I missing something? Do not believe so. No. Maybe, maybe I should finish loosening off the uh, bolts, eh? That might fucking help. Dummy, 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 dummy. Okay. There we go. There's a lot of carbon on there. Is there a gasket on here? No, oh, there's a gasket on there. That won't be going back on either way. So, bring you guys in here a bit. So, some definite scoring on the exhaust side. Um, here. The intake side. Intake side looks clean, so I'm guessing that was just carbon scoring at some point. In this piston, I mean, I ran worse, um, but uh, yeah, it's not. It's not too bad. Piston is not too bad. Do a lot clean in there. The inside of the crankcase looks nice and clean too. Feels pretty tight. I don't have a lot of frame reference on these though, but now the moment of truth. Let's not, let's not lose those guys. Those are important. Those are muy importante. Well. So, it's hard to tell if that's scoring or just transfer. I think that's actually scoring. That sucks. You can see, maybe you can see in there, on the exhaust side there. Can't, like I said, I can't tell if that's transfer or what, but... Oh, that's just transfer. Yeah, you can feel it with my fingernail. Or I can I can feel it with my fingernail. You can't. If you can feel this with my fingernail right now, maybe you should not take some acid. Don't be taking acid on Monday night. Yeah, it's just transfer. That'll totally clean up. But, I also noticed... Look on the intake manifold here. Right there. Is that crack? I'm going to put that on the list of parts, because that could cause an air leak. I don't want to risk it. It's phenolic or whatever. Whatever. I'll oh, compare it to the... This guy. Okay, so... Uh, there we go. Okay, so that's a big difference here. Um, I was wondering what the difference was between um, like the 266 cylinder and manifold compared to like the 272. And that's a big difference as we need longer bolts because they go right through the intake whereas these are just bolted too. Well, I didn't know it. This is like, I knew you needed a different intake block, but I wasn't sure why. But now I know. It's... That is just transfer, so. What to do? What do you guys think? Should I just try to clean it up? Where's my light grit sandpaper here?
I'm pretty sure this is transferred, but hmm. this is actually the first chainsaw I've actually had the jug off of and actually looked at the closed ports. You can definitely see why there'd be room for improvement on porting them, but I would don't have the tools to get in there, so that's not really going to happen anyways. This exhaust, I don't know if I want to port it, but this exhaust looks like it has a ton of room to just open that up. It's not sure what to do about the cylinder here. I might take it to work. We have muriatic acid, muriatic acid. If it is just transfer, we'll burn that off. Um, so be careful with it. But that's what I'm going to do. Anyways, YouTube, hope everyone's having an awesome Monday. I'm, I want to go to bed. I want to have some beers and go to bed. I'm fucking tired. It's a bag drive. It's just non-stop field work this morning. It's fucking weird, actually. But anyways, YouTube, take her easy.